Hi everyone, today is a very fun video. I'm going to be, kid, you can't do tot with lowercase t's. Anyways, we're gonna be checking out a ton of different countries. That's a lie, just 10, not ton. And these are the countries that Animal Jam is the most played in. So basically I went to a website called Google Trends. Thanks Ryanek AJ for telling me about that. Go follow him on Instagram. The link is in the description if you're interested. But Google Trends takes the amount of Google searches for Animal Jam and then divides them by the total number of Google searches in that country to find a percentage of how much Animal Jam is searched in that country and orders the countries based on which country people search Animal Jam the most in. This data is based on the past five years. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Sorry, I just wanted to sound like a weird like infomercial. Okay, country Animal Jam popular in. So I actually made another slideshow and I need to stop doing this because it takes like hours of my day. But I wanted to have tons of pictures and it'll just suck to have to edit them all in. So I've only used this in one other video so you guys actually have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay. We'll look at the countries. First up, meaning 10th place, is Australia! This one was not a surprise. I actually have a friend from Australia, but we'll get into that later. Australia is a continent, but also a country. But then what, what continent is New Zealand on? Well, Oceania is like a continent too, and that would include Australia, but I thought Australia was a continent. So basically nobody has decided what continent New Zealand is a part of yet. And if Australia is a term used collectively for Oceania, which includes the Pacific Islands, which includes Hawaii, that means that part of the United States is in Australia. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Australians, they eat this like weird gross food called Vegemite, <laughs> lol. Technically, Australia did not become independent until 1986, because although it was mostly independent in 1931, its governors and others in power had to be approved by the British Queen still. I did not know this, but you know, what can you expect from Australia? A wild place. So the vast majority of Australians live on the East Coast instead of the West, or more central regions. And Australia also has something called spider season, where spider webs like overtake parts of the country because it's like Australia and all the wildlife is terrifying and venomous, except for koalas. But of course, koalas are now functionally extinct because of the Australian wildfires. Some of the largest cities in Australia are Sydney, Perth, Brisbane, and Melbourne. I don't know who decided that Perth would be a good name for a city, to be honest, but everyone go ahead and follow Ariel on Instagram. Took me a lot. Confidence and energy to pronounce it Ariel and not Ariel. Thank me later, Ariel, but he is from Australia and he has, he used to have a kangaroo profile picture, now it's his cat. Don't read his bio though, it's scary, just follow him. Number nine is Brazil. Okay, so there's a ton to talk about for Brazil, so let's get into it. Brazil actually has 210 million people, making it account for 2.8% of the world's population, and it's the sixth most populated country in the world. It's well known for its statue of Jesus and its popular coastal city, Rio de Janeiro, which is actually pronounced Rio Janar, Janard. I don't know, in Brazilian Portuguese. Also, the Olympics were hosted here in 2016. The city of Sao Paulo is one of the most populated cities in the entire world with a population of 12 million plus another 20 million people in its surrounding metropolitan area. Speaking of population, Brazil is 7.6% black yet 46% mulatto, which is a mix of black and white races. It is also 47% white and 1% Asian. And then this graph says 0.4% other. So I'm assuming that accounts for Brazil's indigenous population. Most Brazilians are also Catholic Christians. Also, so it holds this awesome festival every year called Carnival, and I found a YouTube channel called Animal Jam Brasil that is fairly active and popular. So click the link in my bio if you want to watch that. But this country, like the last one, has a lot of issues with wildfires. Not anymore, but a ton of the Amazon burned last year, which was really bad for the environment. Okay, this next country actually borders Brazil, and this one is... Argentina. So Argentina has a very European architectural vibe and culture because most of its population are descendants of Europeans. It was actually one of the richest, actually not one of the, but the richest country in the entire world by the end of the 1800s, richer than the United States, Great Britain, which was an empire at that time, but it has actually regressed to a developing country status. This happened because of many political and economic issues in the country. The current Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, the predominant religion in Argentina, is named Francis, and he is in fact Argentinian. Argentina listens to music on the radio more than any other country. Soccer is so popular in Argentina that a famous soccer player, Diego Maradona, has his own religion called Iglesia Maradoniana. It was created by his fans. So that's very interesting. Sadly, I don't really know any Argentinian jammers to share, so moving on. This next country actually borders both of the previous countries, Brazil and Argentina. 
we're talking about Uruguay or Uruguay, whatever you want to say. But this country has a lot less people than the previous country. It only has 3.5 million residents. This means that it's only 0.0002% of the world's population, so I definitely don't know any Uruguayan jammers. One third of the country resides in its capital city, Montevideo, and there's a town in Uruguay called Florida. Just thought I'd share that. Super exciting. Uruguay, I'm just gonna say Uruguay. I've made my decision. Uruguay is named after the Uruguay River. River of the Painted Birds is what that means in the Guarani indigenous language. Okay, so we're out of Latin America, into North America, to talk about the United States of America at number six. Did you know that if you were to say the United States instead of the United States of America, it could actually refer to either the United States of Mexico or the United States of America? The bordering country to the south is also known as the United States of Mexico, but nobody really says that, so. The USA is the largest GDP in the world, followed closely by China, and honestly, by the time I post this, that might have changed and China might have beaten us. I have no idea. The USA has an extremely similar size of land to what China has, but you know what? Animal Jam is banned in China. <laughs> So, you know, we need to move on. We're not talking about China anymore. The United States is the third most populous country in the world, below China and- Okay, we're still talking about China, apparently. China and India. It has a lot in common with China, I guess, but also a lot not in common. Anyways, every state in the United States has a growing population except for good old West Virginia. The most populated state in the U.S. is California, with over 40 million people, and everyone in the U.S. low-key wishes they lived there. Literally, look at it. Look at it. The biggest city in the USA is actually New York City. There are alligators here, and they are spooky, and I see them sometimes. Other than that, the wildlife is pretty bland here. So, I interviewed a couple couple friends and asked what their opinions on the United States are. They are also residents of the United States. And one said imperialist piece of poop and the other one said very diverse. So take what you want from that. Next slide. So this one was a surprise, and it's a very beautiful country called Malta. It is a tiny country below Italy, just vibing in the Mediterranean. I don't really know if it's Northern Africa or Southern Europe, technically. <laughs> So I don't know why Animal Jam is popular here because look at it, like I'd rather be outside. Then again, it is one of the smallest and most densely populated countries in the world with only a population of 441,000 people. So literally like, I feel like one Animal Jam search would really skyrocket this country onto the list. Anyways, this country does not have a single forest or river in any of its seven islands. But yeah, very beautiful country. This next country is similar in that it's very small and it's awkwardly positioned between two continents. Iceland. This country is positioned- oh, I just read that. <laughs> Um, so, since it's positioned between Europe and North America, it is positioned right over the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which means volcanoes. But this is actually a good thing for Iceland because after a volcano erupted in 2014, people worldwide saw its natural beauty, and the Icelandic tourism industry exploded. Iceland's capital city is Reykjavik, yet it only has about 200,000 people. The total population of Iceland is only 341,000 people, which is less than Malta, so I feel like if one person quits in Iceland, it would just fling it off the list. Its tourism is for a reason. Iceland is so pretty, featuring snowy mountains and this hill on the ocean thing like it literally is so pretty there are bugs attacking me Okay, so Canada. Canada is number three on this list, and it's the second largest country in the world, yet it only has 38 million people living in it. Its most popular sport is hockey, and I'm assuming that this is the only country where hockey is the preferred national sport. Anyways, Vancouver on the west coast is known to be one of the prettiest and cleanest cities in the world, while on the east coast, the cities are a little bit more traditional from Canada's French colonial times. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what else to say about Canada. Like, it's pretty cool. Low-key reminds me of America, but with free healthcare and beavers. What? There are beavers in the United States of America? No way. <laughs> okay, oops. So I actually went to Canada once and it's pretty cool. Also, Twinklies is from Canada and I'll leave her channel link as well as Mac and Cheese Feral, who I think is a little bit more active in the description. Okay, next up is New Zealand. I always think the capital of New Zealand is Auckland, but it's actually Wellington. <laughs> So funny. Anyways, the population of New Zealand is 5 million people and its biggest city is Auckland, not to Wellington for some reason. KJ Appa is from New Zealand. Don't worry guys, I did stop watching Riverdale, but just thought I'd mention that. Kiwis are also from New Zealand. New Zealand was the first country in the world to allow women to vote in political elections, which is awesome, and Queen Elizabeth is still the queen of New Zealand, like she was in Australia until the 1980s. 
So number one is the Philippines. Why is this number one? Like, I'm actually so confused. But anyways, over 100 million people live in the Philippines, and it's an English-speaking country, I think. Why have I not met anyone from the Philippines on Animal Jam, then? Like, I'm so confused. But the capital city here is Manila, but the most populous city is Quezon. The Philippines were once owned by Spain and later the United States, which is very odd, but okay. The Philippines is a developing country and struggles with lots of people in poverty, but it is surely beautiful. 16 new mammals were discovered in the Philippines in the past 10 years, making this country have the highest rate of discovery of new species in the world. And the Philippines also has three of the 10 biggest malls in the world, including this one called SM Mega Mall. Anyways, that's all I have for today. I just thought I'd give those countries some spotlight because, you know, it's well deserved. Those are the top 10 countries with the most searches for Animal Jump Classic, and they deserve a little spotlight, you know? This panda is giving me anxiety. So, I need to end the video fast. Anyways, if you guys live in any of those countries, um, leave a comment. If you live in the United States, though, honestly, kind of expected. But you can still leave a comment saying you live in the United States if you wish. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! No! no I don't want to be Ohio! No! Actually, being Ohio isn't so bad. Y'all mind if I just...